Hey everybody, Zacharias here, your fellow Source Energy Creator Being, here to help with humanity's shift in consciousness. So, in this short video today, I want to talk about this experience I had yesterday regarding emotional healing. So, recently, I've been going through a lot of stuff, I think all of us have, to be fair, or the vast majority of us have had some kind of heavy emotion that we've had to clear out, it got triggered for whatever reason. And so I found myself, I woke up yesterday feeling, you know when you, you just feel down and you don't know exactly why? Well, in this case I kind of knew why, but like it was still one of those kind of underlying tones of like, mm, like not feeling too good, slightly depressed. So even though I have like, you know, like love cultivation tools, like we all have these love cultivation tools that we can use to snap ourselves out of that depression, I just decided yesterday morning just to kind of sit with it. So I sat with it from when I woke up until about midway through the afternoon. And I got to this point where I was like, right, I just want this cleared now because it's uncomfortable. I don't need this pain anymore. <laughs> and so I went and lay down on the sofa and just, I could, I just kind of went into meditation for a while. But the meditation didn't really go deep enough. I kind of, at one point during the start of the meditation, I felt like, kind of like tears come into my eyes a little bit, which was, which was cool. But then it like passed quickly. It was like I didn't really go to the depths of it enough. And so what I then chose to do was, a little bit later on from that, I realized, right, I need to go deeper into this. And so again, I was in a form of meditation, this time properly laying down placing one hand on my heart and the other hand I think on one of my lower chakras, probably my, it was my solar plexus. And so I was like, and I asked myself, I focused on the heart space because that's where I could feel this pain. And I just kind of like went into it and was just like, I asked, what are you trying to show me? What do you want to tell me? And <laughs> I just felt like, this visualization in my mind of what was going on within me was that there was like this, this like shadow, this like child. It didn't look like me, but I knew it was me. It was it was a really like weird version of me to look at in terms of being a child. It was, it was like, it was like a shadow, shadowy figure, with like white bright light highlights, like around the shadow to kind of give perspective and definition and contrast to the shadow being and as a version of me he actually had very big eyes but what this version of me was doing was kind of like going like this like like trying to go like like uh, like how can I describe it like going go like, uh, like kind of like clawing out like trying to like like vying for my attention vying for my love that he so desperately clearly needed and <laughs> I just had, at that moment, as soon as I felt this child within me, I just, I just welled up, like tears came straight into my eyes and I was just like overwhelmed with like, oh, I just cried for a little bit and it was beautiful. And straight away in that process, just of crying for about, you know, 10, 20 seconds of this, just sitting with that inner child that was there within me, that, that, low simmer, that low murmur of of residual like kind of pain, like emotional kind of depression, just evaporated. And oh, what a beautiful moment. What a beautiful moment. And you know, we can all do this, right? This is the beautiful thing. Like it's not just, what a beautiful thing to be able to do. And so this is the point of this video is just to say, and I'm gonna be going into this in more depth in time to come, but, just being able to ask the question as to ask your pain the question, what is it that you need? What do you want to tell me? And you may not always get an answer straight away. You may have to sit with it a bit more and just really be present with it. Sometimes I find that like, I'll have a, like, a kind of like a dormant pain, but it won't have a, as much emotional charge as it as it possibly could have to perhaps make me cry. 
which personally I find quite frustrating, but it's just the way it is, you know? <laughs> and uh, so just being patient enough to sit with ourselves and really just dive deep and ask those questions and sit with it and feel it and just take the time and, and just not to distract ourselves. I've, I've done this for the past five years, essentially. I've just been distracting myself from my inner work. I've just been like, oh, YouTube's more interesting. Like, this is more interesting, that's more interesting. And it's, uh, it's just so easy for us to do it. Because, of course, we don't really want to face our pain, do we? It's, it's a painful experience. We want to move towards comfort instead of experiencing pain, which is natural. But, yeah, just, uh, just a little reminder, just to say, hey, if you are feeling a little bit down, a little bit depressed, you've got an underlying emotion that isn't causing you to spontaneously like erupt with emotion uh, for it to be felt. Just, uh, just be patient and ask the question. That's, uh, that's all I really have to say. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. And oh, so much love to you all. Thank you. Bye for now.